All right. External benchmarking productivity measures. We just mentioned these previously. And let's just talk about benchmarking briefly because we will go over it more. Uh, benchmarking is just any time you are comparing your progress, your performance to that of someone else, be it yourself last year or another company. Now, this is external benchmarking. So this is comparing us to maybe your competitor. And these are just formulas to memorize. We'll see them in action, but total factor productivity ratio, quantity output divided by cost of all inputs, and then partial productivity ratio, quantity output divided by quantity of specific input. Um, the TFP, the total pro factor productivity, the metric reflects the quantity of output produced in relation to the cost of all inputs used, whereas the partial productivity ratio. This is just all output in relation to specific inputs. So maybe this is if we are making trucks, this is all of what was produced compared to the cost of all the parts of the truck. Whereas maybe this is all the trucks produced compared to just the rubber used for the tires or just the metal used for the trucks, just a specific input. All right. We've got a big old example here and we use my favorite example. I feel like I use this example all the time. That's why I just use trucks. I use the example of chairs, you know, wooden chairs a lot. Just, I just, I'm a fan of hand carved wooden chairs. So Medellin Co. produces handcrafted wooden rocking chairs. Let's read what the question is. Well, what are the partial productivity ratio for wood? So you see right here, what's the partial productivity ratio for just wood? Just like I said before, for trucks, it could be for just rubber, just metal. And then what's the total factor productivity ratio for overall, for all the costs? Okay, each chair manufactured by the company includes two raw materials with wood being the largest product input. During the previous month, the company used 15,000 tons of wood and 7,500 nails to produce 2,000 rocking chairs. Now, is wood measured in tons? I have no idea, but that's what I used for this question, not that it matters. Um, so, and. Do you need more materials than wood and nails to make chairs? Possibly. I am not an expert. As much as I talk about it, I'm not an expert in producing ro wooden rocking chairs. So just roll with it here. Those are not important points for the question. Uh, just comical in my mind. The material prices at time of production were $1.50 per ton for wood. I mean, that could be insanely cheap. $1.50 for a ton of wood. That's probably not realistic. But we're here to just learn how to do these questions, right? And $2 per nail. All right. So what are the ratios? Well, the direct material of wood in the partial productivity ratio would be calculated by doing all of what's produced. And again, you see in both ratios, it's the same. We produce 2,000 rocking chairs, right? 2,000 rocking chairs. That's what we saw here, 2,000 rocking chairs. So it's the same, but partial productivity ratio for our wood compares it to 15,000 tons of wood. That means we made 0.13 rocking chairs per ton of wood. Then our total factor productivity ratio, this is all the costs. Now, this is a dollar amount here. Well, we will use a dollar amount to get our result. So 15,000 tons of wood times the price per ton, 7,500 nails times the price per nail. Add those together. That's the total costs expended here. And lastly, we get our 0 0.0533 rocking chairs per dollar of input costs. I've seen these ratios used in Sims. I've seen them in multiple choice. Be ready to tackle them and you'll do fine with them. Nothing crazy here. Enjoy. And you know, maybe the AICPA will use more realistic metrics. <laughs> $1.50 per ton of wood. Um, that's just me. That's just more, more focused on making sure you know how to do the questions right rather than making them realistic. Maybe I'll do an example with aliens and spaceships soon. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material? We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible.
Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.